Welcome to the 2020 Virtual Signing Day. My name's Allison Gasper. And my name's Evan Steinberger. And we're presidents of the Dos Pueblos Varsity Club. We would like to say thank you to the coaches, parents, and staff for making it possible for these athletes to continue to play at the next level. And a special thanks to our athletic director, Dan Feldhaus, and assistant, Debbie Delombo. Congratulations, Congratulations athletes. Hi, my name is Dan Feldhaus, and I'm the athletic director here at Dos Pueblos. Uh, despite our school being closed, despite the cancellation of our spring sports season, we want to take this time to celebrate and recognize the high school athletic accomplishments of these 20 student athletes and their commitment and intent of continuing their sport at the college level. We recognize and acknowledge the time, the dedication, the early morning workouts, the time in the weight room, the long weekends and tournaments and trips out of town, and everything it took to get each one of them to this point today. And this dedication extends beyond the pool field or court, these students met the academic requirements to reach their goal also. They succeeded in the classroom and were able to balance playing their sport at a very high level, all while maintaining excellent grades. And with that being said, we would like to take a minute to recognize and acknowledge the parents of these students. All these students signing today recognize and understand that they would not have reached their goal if it weren't for the support and dedication of their parents. So thank you parents. And here's the 2020 class of National Letter of Intent signees from Dos Pueblos High School. Hi, I'm Ethan Parrish and I'll be playing water polo at Stanford University next year. Um, and I'd like to thank my mom, Hannah, my dad, Chris, my stepmom, Brittany, and my siblings, Blake, Addison, Hayes, and Bowen, and everyone else who supported me along this ride. Hello everyone, Coach Brian Schneider here to talk about my senior boys water polo player, Ethan Parrish. Um, Ethan is going to be playing at Stanford University next year, who is the reigning um, men's national champion in Division I um, athletics. Uh, he'll be following in his brother Blake's footsteps, who's also a DP alumni, um, played at Stanford for four years. Um, you know, Ethan is a phenomenal talent in the water. He's a great passer, um, great, great shooter, um, sees the game, can play defense, really, really checks all the boxes when it comes to having a total complete game. Um, Ethan is passionate about the sport. Um, he's a great leader, great motivator, um, really, really committed to the sport and, you know, really made my job a lot easier. This being my, my first year being my senior leader and, and taking that um, initiative to, to show guys, um, you know, how things are done properly and, and really help out. Um, comes from a great family, going to miss him a lot. Um, Ethan, good luck to you, buddy. Hope everything goes well. Hello, my name is Aldo Becerril and I will be attending Westmont College for men's soccer. These are my parents, Rufino Becerril and Yenica Garcia. Aldo Becerril Garcia going, staying pretty close to home here at Westmont College. Um, Aldo, multiple year captain for me, four year varsity starter. Um, just an incredible man with a long list of accomplishments. Uh, two time offensive player of the year for our program. Um, feared and respected by all the coaches in the Channel League and CIF as well. Um, you know, it's I'm so excited that I'm going to have the pleasure of continuing to be able to see him right here in our backyard and uh, point out to our current members, um, you know, that's what you can do with hard work and determination. I'm most proud of that he is a great young man as well, um, being a member of the AVID class and always pushing himself. I don't know if there is a more consistent finisher that I've ever had um, on any of my teams in the 10 years that I've been here. Um, and never have I had a player who had as much drive and determination, um, combining that with such a generous heart and a soul. He will always be in our Charger hearts here, and I can't wait to maybe bring him back someday as part of our coaching staff. Although you've done great things and you deserve all the accolades coming to you. My name is Shannon Connolly and next year I'll be playing water polo for Marist College. Go Red Foxes! These are my parents, Jennifer and John Connolly. Go, Go Red, Red Foxes. Foxes! Hello everyone, Coach Brian Snyder here to talk about my senior girls water polo player Shannon Connolly. Uh, Shannon was a great leader for us this year. She's very mature. Very nice, one of those girls that leads by example both in and out of the pool. Um, she comes from a, from a water polo family. Her dad is a former player and high school coach himself. 
Um, Shannon, as a player, she's phenomenal. Um, former CIF Player of the Year, when her freshman year when she was at San Ines. Um, she's a great mismatch whenever she goes into two meters, um, you know, instantly drawing exclusions or penalty shots or creating goal sco scoring opportunities for ourselves. Um, can't tell you how many times that um, when we got the ball into our good things happened for us this year. Um, you know, like I already mentioned, she's very, very mature for her age. Maris is very, very lucky to have her. Um, Shannon, good luck on the East Coast. I know you're going to do great things over there. Take care. Hi, my name is Fina Shackleford and I am playing women's water polo at UC Irvine next year. These are my parents Sherry and Tyson Shackleford and I'm very thankful for all the rides they gave me to practices and to tournaments at 5 a.m. ever since fourth grade. Hello everyone, Coach Brian Schneider here to talk about my senior girls water polo player Sabina Shackleford. Um, Sabina is a truly an amazing talent in the water. She's one of the fastest girls in the pool every game she gets into. She's a lockdown defender, will shut down the other team's best player, um, can score a goal when she needs to, can make an assist when she needs to, just totally changes the dynamics of your team um, when she's out there. Um, Sabina comes from a, a family with great uh, tradition at, at Dos Pueblos. Her family's been involved in the program for over 10 years um, with her older sisters coming through the programs at various times. Um, you know, they've, they've held various team outings and, and, and done a lot for this program over the course of the years. They're surely going to be missed. Um, Sabina her, herself, she's one of the most competitive girls I've ever coached. Um, you know, she, she has a desire to work hard and win um, like no other girl. Um, and that's going to carry on to her at, at UC Irvine. Sabina, good luck. I know you're going to crush it out there. Take care. Hi, my name is Connor Gleisner and I'll be playing baseball next year for Cal State San Marcos. This is my mother Michelle and father Conrad and I just want to thank them for everything they've done for me. And hey, This is Coach Hedricks with DP Baseball and I just want to take this opportunity to congratulate uh, Connor Gleisner on his acceptance at Cal State San Marcos and just the fact that he's going to be able to continue on his education and his baseball at the next level. I couldn't be happier for him and more proud as a coach. Uh, Connor, it's been an honor having you here. We all know what you can do on the field, not only as a pitcher, but a, a hitter, a first baseman, a teammate, and a captain. Uh, it's been great having you here the last two years here on varsity. And uh, just the poise you show as one of our youngest seniors to be able to go out there and do what you do on the mound and kind of that competitive fight and um, just the way you engage the game. It's, it's been great to see. And it also shows me that you're more than ready to go and compete at the next level. Uh, Cal State San Marcos is lucky to have a young developing pitcher like you, a big lefty who can go on the mound who's still growing and getting better. And you're going to be missed, not only by me and the school, but by your teammates and everybody else who had an opportunity to play and be around you. So best of luck, bud. If you ever need anything, let me know. And wishing you the best. Hello, my name is Hayden Carlson, and I'm going to UC Davis next year to play men's soccer. These are my parents, Allison and Craig Carlson, and I'm very thankful for everything they do. Hayden Carlson, um, going to be going to UC Davis next year, going to be an Aggie for them. Uh, what an incredible, incredible young man. Um, he's a left back and a winger for us on our squad. Probably the best attacking defender that I have ever coached here at Dos Pueblos in my 10 plus years within the program. He has great technical skills and ability. He uh, has some of the most precise dribbling that we have on the team and that we've probably ever had. He can make defenders look foolish when he has the ball, and he can make offensive players appear foolish when he steals it from them. Um, you recognize him from his long flowing hair as he was playing, but it was almost possessed and demon-like when he'd be out there on the field. Um, one thing I will say though is, though I'm losing an incredible soccer player with Hayden, uh, we are also just going to be losing an incredible leader, young man, and a student athlete. He was always there for all the members on his team, and me as a coach, I could always count on him. And so one thing I will always appreciate about him is just the overall young man that he is. Um, Davis is super lucky to have him, and I look forward to hearing about all of his accomplishments um, in the coming years. Hayden, you will be sorely missed, but not soon forgotten. Hi, my name is CJ Rodriguez, and I'll be attending Illinois Wesleyan University in the fall and I'll be playing men's soccer. These are my parents, Rick and Lauren Rodriguez, and I'm extremely grateful for everything they've done. CJ Rodriguez, uh, gonna be taking his talents to Illinois Wesleyan University. Um, what a phenomenal young man uh, and a total general on the field for us. He really captained our team for multiple years. He was the voice inside the huddle. He was the uh, player who was always 
texting and asking about, can we try this shape and do this formation? Let's work on this drill. Um, I'm so excited to see what he's going to bring for the next few years in his soccer career and in the years to come afterwards as he is successful in all facets of his life. You know, CJ for us really was a linchpin of the team, connecting that offensive and defensive units. Um, and often we asked him to play um, and take on a load of two or three people. And, you know, though he would leave the games dog tired, you would never doubt um, his heart, his drive, his determination and his ability. CJ was a great player for our program and there is a huge void that he leaves as he moves on in his next career and I can only hope that we get somebody who can fill half of his shoes. Hi everybody, my name is Cole Phillip. I'm a senior at Dos Pueblos High School. Next year I'll be playing Division II baseball and furthering my academic career at the University of Colorado, Colorado Springs. And most importantly, I'd like to thank my parents, John and Christy. It's Coach Hedricks with DP Baseball, and I just want to take this opportunity to congratulate Cole Phillip on his acceptance at UC Colorado, Colorado Springs. And I just think it's great to see you going on and playing at the next level and continue your education and your baseball career. Uh, they're very lucky to have a kid like you. I mean, your size, your height, um, everything you have going for you on the mound, you're still very young in your development. And to see the strides you made from last year to this year, um, man, they are very lucky to be able to develop you for four years. I wouldn't be surprised to see a big hard thrown righty uh, in their near future on the bump for them. So, Cole, I'm wishing you the best. Uh, I'm going to miss you. Uh, you're a captain, a leader on the team. You always make me laugh, but you also have that just that great competitive nature, which is why you were the perfect prototypical closer for us. So, Cole, I'm wishing you the best. And again, reach out if you need anything and go Mountain Lions. My name is Sean Yamasaki. I've committed to wrestle for San Francisco State. I'd like to thank my parents, Mike and Kate, as well as my coaches and teammates for helping me achieve all my goals. I was for committed to San Francisco State. I'm very proud of you. You know, um, all your hard work is paying off, and you know, you're a great leader for me. You know, I, I wish you the best. Um, the door is always open for you. The team is very proud of you. You know, I told them the news. That was the start of a new journey. You know, and. You know, Best believe that you know we're always going to be there to support you, Sean. So you know, again, congratulations, and I look forward to see you wrestling college. Hi, I'm Anna Cable, and I will be attending UC Davis to play women's water polo next year. This is my mom, Chrissy, and my dad, Jeff. Hello, everyone. Coach Brian Schneider here to talk about my senior girls water polo player, Anna Cable. Uh, Anna will be attending UC Davis next year. Um, Anna was senior captain, voted team MVP, um, anchor for us in the, in the, in the defensive end. Um, you know, she's one of the best goalies high school water polo had this year. Um, she's multiple all CIF and all channel league selections over the years. Um, Davis is, is very, very lucky to have her. Uh, Anna comes from a great family. Uh, her mom, Chrissy, of course, is a, is a teacher on campus. Um, I met, I met the cables last summer, um, running the, helping run the summer swim camps with Chrissy and, uh, you know, just amaz amazingly nice people, amazingly nice family. Um, Anna, she has so much water polo knowledge. Um, she's going to do such great things at, at UC Davis. Um, Anna, good luck to you. Take care. Hi, my name is Stoney Use. These are my awesome parents, Jeff and Stacy. I look forward to continuing my soccer career at Chapman University, as well as attending their Dodge Film School. Go Panthers! Stoney Use. Uh, congratulations, young man, and congratulations to Chapman University for making a great decision and bringing you into part of their program. Um, things when you think about Stoney, some of the first things that pop into your mind are just his incredible head for the game, his knowledge for the game. Um, a, a great distributor when he had the ball, plays best into space, really seems to anticipate the other team. Um, and what they're trying to stop of him and he has usually two or three workarounds as far as making our team better we played him a little bit on the edges he played some um, in the middle and when he was in that center mid as part of that next unit he really did a great job of elevating all the players around him i think the best thing a coach can say um, about a player is that he makes his teammates better and i think any time that sony was out there on the field for us you really got a feel for how hard he worked <clears throat> and how much the other uh, players out there appreciated everything that he did for them. Um, he worked really hard to get himself to become a great midfielder and uh, Chapman will be thrilled to have him for years to come. Hi, I'm Reina Zuzunaga and I will be playing soccer next year at the Masters University. And these are my parents, Kike and Gentry. It is my pleasure to speak about Reina Zuzunaga. Next year she will be playing at Maester's College. 
While playing at Dos Pueblos High School, Reyna was on varsity for three years. She was a captain in her senior year and helped lead the Chargers to their first two Channel League titles. Not only that, Reyna also played for the Peruvian national team. She has a great understanding of the game of soccer and is clearly evident every time she plays soccer. She has an amazing set of skills that will only boost the Maesters program. Reyna isn't just a great athlete, she is an amazing student as well and is involved in many other campus activities. Reyna has a relentless work ethic and is always willing to do what's best for the team. I wish you the best of luck, Reyna, in your college seasons. Good luck. Hi, my name is Amelia Kling and I am so excited to be attending and playing soccer at Western Oregon University next year. These are my parents, Danielle and Michael Kling, and I'm so thankful for everything they have done for me. Go Wolves! Next year, Amelia Kling will be playing soccer at Western Oregon College. But for now, let's talk about the amazing things she did while at DP. Um, while being a student at DP, she played on varsity for three years and helped lead the Dos Pueblos Chargers to their first two Channel League titles. Not only that, Amelia was the defensive MVP for the Channel League and she was a captain of her team this year. Um, Amelia was an essential player throughout her three years here. She was a natural born leader and leads by example. She has an amazing soccer IQ and understands how to stifle a team's attack, whether it be winning a 50-50 challenge, a ball in the air, or intercepting a crucial pass. Not only that, Amelia has an outstanding ball control and an ability to find a pass in a tough situation. Another asset that makes Amelia a great player is that she has always wants to learn more about the game of soccer and how she can improve to help her team. Her work ethic is outstanding. Western Oregon has not just gained a phenomenal soccer player, but an amazing student as well. Best of luck, Amelia, in your college career. Hi, my name is Joseph Perlman. I'm going to be running boys cross country at Colorado School of Mines. And these are my parents, Melanie and Justin Perlman, and they've been supporting me the entire way. Hi, my name is Nash Jimenez. I'm the head coach of the cross country team, the boys and girls at Dos Pueblos. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the uh, Santa Barbara Athletic Roundtable for choosing Joseph Pyramid for being the Athletic Cos Country Runner of the Year. A lot of things I could say about Joseph, but the one thing that really stands out that he is a great athlete and a great student. As far as being a student, he is going to the Mines University in Colorado, which is a great engineering school. Congratulations for that, Joseph. Uh, on his achievements on the field, he led his team to two Channel League championships, uh, which hasn't been done in six years. As I said, there's a lot I could say about Joseph, but he will be missed. And thank you for all your accomplishment, Joseph, and you will be missed. And also, thanks for taking me to the CIF Finals two years in a row. Thank you. Hi, I'm Ali Borden, and I'll be attending the University of Redlands next fall to play softball. These are my parents, Todd and Janine, and I'd like to thank them for the countless hours they've put into helping me achieve my athletic goals. Go dogs! All right, congratulations, Allie Borden on signing with University of Redlands. Uh, a couple things about Allie. I've known Allie most of her life. I've known her for her entire softball life. And the one thing that I can say is she started uh, with the passion for softball from an early age, and that passion just grew and grew and grew. And every day at practice, it was evident in the time that she spent in, in the care she put in with all the drills that we did. And every single day she did something to get herself better. And um, as a result of all that, she gets to play at the next level. So we're really excited for Allie and the opportunities that she's been presented at the University of Redlands. And we really look forward to her career. Um, we can't overstate how much she has meant to our program, especially in the last two years. And um, Unfortunately, we lost this year, but I know that uh, if we had the chance to play, that we would have um, had a really good run behind Allie in the circle. Hi, my name is Bella Godless, and I'm going to Brown University in the fall to play water polo. This is my mom, Julie, and my dad, Brian. Hello, everyone. Coach Brian Snyder here to talk about my senior girls water polo player, Bella Godless. Um, Bella will be attending Brown University next year on the East Coast. Um, and that really shows right there who she is. Um, she is our Dos Pueblos Scholar Athlete of the Year this year, uh, member of the National Honor Society, has a laundry list of various um, volunteer organizations that she's involved in. 
um, maintains over a 4.0 GPA. Um, on top of that, one of the nicest girls you'll ever meet. Um, you know, really was a was a leader for us this year. Um, took it upon herself to make sure that things went well and everyone was included in, in all team outings and, and, and drills and things like that. Um, you know, she was a channel league, all channel league selection this year. Um, so many games down the stretch for us where she had so many important goals and games and you know, her being a left-handed attacker, she sees the pool on, on from the other side and makes our offense way more dynamic. Um, just great, great person to have in our program. Bella, we're going to miss you. Good luck out there in the East Coast. Take care. Hi, my name is Isabella Vasquez, and I'm committed to Eastern University to play women's soccer. This is my mom, Joni, and my dad, Mike. Next year, Bella Vasquez will be playing soccer for Eastern University. Bella is a two-year varsity player. She was huge for us this year. She made a copious amount of game-winning saves that gave us the edge to win our second Channel League title. She was fearless in goal and always willing to put her body on the line to make the save, something any coach can appreciate. To continue on, Bella also was one of our captains. She was always able to inspire our team and to motivate them to become the best players that they could be. Along with that, Bella was named First Team All League. Bella, I wish you the best of luck in your college career. Hi, my name is Michaela Butsky. I play volleyball, basketball, and softball. I'll be attending CSU San Marcos to play volleyball. I want to thank my parents, Tyson and Jennifer. Hey everyone, Coach O'Carroll here. Um, it is my absolute pleasure to get to speak about this next athlete. Michaela Butsky has been a four-year varsity member of the girls volleyball program, um, and she has had an outstanding career as a Charger. Um, four-year varsity member, two-time MVP of our team. Um, every year we have improved in our Channel League standing um, and she capped off her four years with a Channel League victory as well as being named Channel League Most Valuable Player. She has been the heartbeat and backbone of our program, one of the hardest workers I have ever had the privilege to coach, and she's going to be incredibly missed. But we are so excited for her to take her talents to the next level and play for Cal State San Marcos. We cannot wait to follow along and watch as you excel as a Cougar. Congrats, Michaela. Hi, I'm Olivia Geiling and I'm playing lacrosse at George Fox University. This is my dad, Rolf, and I'm extremely thankful for everything that he and my mom, Trish, have done for me. Hi, I'm Sam Lumkman. I'm Olivia Geiling's lacrosse coach of four years. Uh, I am so sad to be losing Olivia. She was um, our MVP last year, first in the program to score over 100 goals, and she did that her junior year. Um, she did that between two seasons. Um, she's not only our uh, MVP on the field and at practices and every single game, um, she's also an MVP in a different way. She's our most valuable person on the team. She exhibits incredible grit and drive, uh, positivity. She knows how to uh, bring energy to every single moment on that lacrosse team uh, and she knows how to foster a good family atmosphere. Uh, the girls really look up to her both as a player and a person so uh, we are really excited for her to go to George Fox University um, and I hope that they know that they're gaining more than just an MVP um, as far as players go but they're gaining an MVP as far as the most valuable person. Uh, she's going to offer that school a lot, and we are really sad to miss her, but we send her off with a lot of excitement and encouragement, and we can't wait to uh, see all the things that she accomplishes in college. Good luck, Olivia. Hi, my name is Connor Lee, graduating class of 2020, Dos Pueblos High School. I play football. My position is free safety, and I will be attending Whitworth University at Spokane, Washington. This is my father, Daniel. It's been a privilege and an honor working with Connor Lee, who's played safety and running back for us, and he's really just been a special player. He's been a linchpin. He's been an absolute monster in all three phases of the game, and we're really going to miss what he brought to the table for DP football. Whitworth College is a, is a special school, and, and we're so excited, and I think the coaches are blessed to receive an athlete that's got the, the high football IQ as well as the football ability, and sometimes... You just got to have that natural instinct, and, and Connor possesses that and so much more, and I wish him the best on the next level. Okay, you guys. So, again, thanks, and I wanted to just first of all say congratulations to, to all of you. I'm very excited. I, uh, obviously, the class of 2020 is very special to me, but you guys are 
a very uh, special group of students and um, congratulations on your accomplishments. Okay. Uh, With that being said, are we ready to sign? Everyone grab your pen. Everyone grab your paper. And on the count of three, we'll sign. Ready? And one, two, three, sign away. All right, congratulations. Good job, everybody. Well done. Again, we're very proud of you guys and good luck. Thank you for watching our 2020 National Letter of Intent signing ceremony and go Chargers.